We're going to demonstrate transferring a consumer or patient from the flotation chair to a bed using a yoke frame full sling hoist. First of all, we'll provide cues, prompts, and ask the consumer or resident for permission to complete the transfer and grab our second assistant. We'll also make sure the brakes are locked on the piece of equipment, and where possible, we'll use our uh, equipment to do the majority of the work. So to lean the resident or consumer forward, we'll use the pneumatics of the chair. The person from behind will assist the client forward and stabilise them in a forward position. The staff member will position the yoke frame sling down the back of the client or consumer, making sure that the arch of the leg straps fits just at the back and around the bottom crease of the client or consumer. A little tuck underneath the client will make sure that it's nice and smooth and will hold position. The client's then leant back to hold the sling into position and then the chair where it has a tilt in space function is tilted posteriorly to support the sling into position but also take the weight off the lower limbs as they're maneuvered into position to put the leg straps into place. The therapist will assist the leg into the hip into flexion and adduction, while the other therapist will position the leg strap underneath the thigh, making sure that it's nice and smooth so as to take any creases or risk of skin tears away from the resident or consumer. The strap's then folded back over the inner thigh to ensure that the straps are out of the way. You can see on this side that we're doing the same thing from a different angle, just to show how we position and tuck the leg strap to avoid any risk of skin tears with the therapist or staff member's hand as they position the leg strap. For clients or consumers that fill out the chair where it's difficult to get your hand down the lateral or outside side of the thigh, there's the ability on some chairs to remove or maneuver the armrest down which can be seen on this side, where our therapist has taken the side of the Regency chair down, which provides easy access to position the leg strap underneath the thigh. The straps are then taken out of the road and the armrest is then elevated back into position for safety during transfer. The hoist is then positioned close to the residents with both legs to one side or the other of the mast and the boom is lowered. The shoulders are connected first and if going from a seated position or into a seated position, we connect the shorter shoulder length loops to the yoke frame. We then grab the leg straps, we'll cross them over, typically on a yoke frame hoist. There are some exceptions, but we'll go generic manual handling at this point in time. We'll put the loops through and make sure that they are all the way on so they're not going to slip off during the transfer. We'll raise the boom until it is slightly weight bearing, and then one staff member will check their own clips and then cross check their partners to make sure that they're the same size and same length and they are secure. We continue to raise the boom, encouraging the client to cross their arms over their chest and not hold on to any of the straps. The boom is raised till we clear the origin, being the chair in this instance, noting that the brakes are off the hoist the whole time the boom is being raised. The resident should come up into a sitting position or semi-reclined position. In order to remove the chair, we may manipulate the equipment to remove any uh, upper trunk wings of the chair or the armrest to get clear and easy access to maneuver the hoist out of the road. One therapist is in control of maneuvering the hoist. The other therapist or staff member is in position looking after the resident. We'll adjust the bed position to make sure that the bed matches as closely as possible 
to the resident or consumer's position. In this instance, it's a semi-reclined or semi-seated position. As the hoist is moved in, we'll assist the client or consumer's legs up onto the bed to avoid any skin tears. Once they're positioned in the centre of the bed or the desired position, we'll let their legs down onto the bed and progressively lower the client or consumer onto the bed until all the pressure is off the yoke frame sling connectors from the boom. You'll see here that the pressure is coming off the connectors where they can be easily removed by the two therapists or staff members. Making sure one person holds the boom at all times to avoid any risk of the boom swinging around and hitting the resident and working as a team to communicate during the task to each colleague as well as to the resident or consumer. To remove the sling, we flatten out the bed and we'll also raise the bed to a good working height to each staff member, which is generally somewhere between the belly button and the upper thigh of both people. We'll then take the leg straps out of the road by tucking them under the body strap and then roll in any loose straps to minimize any risk of skin tears or catching of the straps on the client or consumer as we're removing the sling. We then position the resident or consumer in a rolling position and we'll have a pusher and a puller. The pusher will roll the resident towards the other colleague. We'll then continue to roll the hoist sling underneath itself and tuck as able. We'll then tell the resident or consumer to roll back over, notifying there'll be a, a little lump in their back as they roll over and continue to roll until the sling is easy to remove. There should be no risk of skin tears or catching as the sling is rolled into itself rather than against the resident. Once the sling's removed, it's positioning the resident or consumer in the optimal position on the bed, looking after pressure care, comfort, dignity, and accessibility to any devices.